So here's a quick one about a guy, a husband, 50 years old, and unbeknownst to his wife is divorcing her, has everything set up behind the scenes to divorce her, after she up and abandoned him to go find herself and depleted almost their entire savings account to do that. She's traveling the world to find herself. And this is after he's been spent years with her being a good husband to her, loyal and all that, helping taking care of her mother with dementia. And this woman is now doing this to him as a thanks. But this guy, he's handling the best way he can. Title. My wife, a 48-year-old female, abandoned me two months ago to find herself. Shout out to Chris for sending me this story. He says, yeah, my wife Mary's family has a history of dementia, de developing memory issues in their mid to late 50s. Her mom, grandmother, and several other relatives on her mom's side have developed dementia. Her mom lived with us for four years until earlier this year. The father was dead. Our kids are independent and out of the house. Our oldest is in her last semester of college and the youngest enlisted. The last four years were tough for us. Our kids, daughter moved for college but moved back for a bit during COVID, and our marriage, living with someone with, with dementia, dementia is brutal. So in other words, it's been a very tough few years. We talked a lot last year about taking the remaining college funds, our regular savings, sell or rent the house that we already, and we were ready to downsize anyway, quit our jobs and travel for a year or until the money runs out. Um, that's not so smart when if you're going to deplete all your savings and travel the world and have fun until the money runs out, um, you're still going to live, right? Unless you're going to drink something and leave a note. How are you going to pay the bills? Social Security ain't going to cover everything, but okay. We just had to wait for her mom to move into a home. I understand her anxiety about developing dementia, and I was burnt out. You lived through COVID, working remote, a wife working remote, a college and a high school student taking remote classes, and a mother-in-law with dementia, and see how you hold up. Hey, I guarantee it was tough. Space finally opened up, and we were able to move her mom into a care facility. I finally thought I had a chance to breathe. When we moved Mary's mom out, Mary's mental health took a huge downward spiral. I went from caring, I went from caring for her mom to caring for her. She felt, she felt guilty about putting her mom in a home and had lots of anxiety about developing dementia. So he says here she has a, a mental health. He didn't mean dementia. She was just depressed and stressed out and all that. Our plan was to start our, our traveling in the summer of 2024. Two months ago, I get home and she left a note. My friends call it Exhibit A. Basically, she was going on the trip without me. She had quit her job, took most of the savings, and wasn't sure when she'd be back. Maybe a year, maybe sooner. She knew I'd understand. Her location is turned off, and my calls go directly to voicemail. I texted the kids a picture of the note. Are you freaking kidding me? This is your wife, and she up and abandoned you? And, and said, so, oh, it might be a year, might be less, and I might add, drain the savings account. What I say about not having the mother load of your money and accessible to your wife. Now you're going to see he has, they do have separate accounts, but she has access to the bulk of it, which is a stupid ass idea. <clears throat> we have our own checking accounts for direct deposits of our paychecks, but we transfer most of it into a joint account to pay for the household bills and savings. We both had access to the main savings account. We have joint credit cards we use for household expenses. The two cars and the mortgage are joint. We both have our, our own small savings accounts, our own retirement accounts, equally funded, and our own credit cards for gifts and fun things. I close all joint accounts and cards. Well, that's smart. You don't want her to rack things up and put it in your name. I waited a month to see if she'd come back home, hopefully before she spent our savings. After receiving only one text the first month, I went to a lawyer. She basically said there was very little to do right now, other than change the beneficiaries of my retirement accounts and life insurance. He says, yay, my wife gets nothing else if I die alone while she's having, having adventures. It was only a month and there was no way to serve her papers. My lawyer advised me to keep paying the mortgage and the cars. The cost of trying to get a judge to approve the sale of joint assets was more than making the payments. I didn't want to ruin my credit by letting one of the cars get repossessed, but I can't sell it because she's on the title. Dude, why the hell don't you have it where one car is her car and the title is in her name and the other car is in your name? But obviously he thought there was no reason to think there'd be any issues. This is nuts. Disappears. You got one text from her in a month. And I don't want to hear stress and all that bullshit. What kind of fucking wife and mother does this? Unless 
she was planning on doing this all along. And something tells me she isn't just, you know, hiking up to Machu Picchu or wherever the hell she is. I think she's living it up. I get random texts and she sporadically posts on Instagram. Of course, she has the comments turned off. I want to block her so bad, but my lawyer advised me that it's better to maintain a communication channel that's not through the kids. Her last post was from Hawaii. She put in the comments how great a husband I was for letting her take the trip. Everybody's a big phony on the internet. I'm barely making it paying two cars, a mortgage, household bills, insurance, hoping there are no emergencies because I have no savings. And she's enjoying our trip. Fuck her. Yeah, you're darn right. What a selfish a-hole. This is the thanks he gets. And by the way, who's paying for her mother to be in the nursing home? Seriously. Unless the mother has a very large budget and maybe he has power of attorney, but only to make sure her bills are paid. Because guess what? Retirement communities, nursing homes, and they're all in degrees. My mom's in a, in a retirement community. It's not a nursing home, but people can look after her if necessary. Guess what? In a Jeep, by any means. So who's paying for that? I'm so pissed at her. I helped take care of her mom for four years and and, and, uh, and her when she fell apart after her mom moved into the memory care home. And she returns the fare by abandoning me. I'll never get to take this trip and have put off retirement. My only solace is the kids are pissed at her too, but they'll probably forgive her eventually. Double fuck her. Yeah, she'll just give the waterworks to the kids and complain that I think I'm going to get dementia pretty soon and I had to do this. And they'll probably buy it. Unless she has a daughter. A daughter probably won't. Boys will fall for that shit. Uh, Most. Girls, not so much. I'm no fool. She is hooking up with other guys. She looks good and she'll have zero problem getting men. I texted her and asked her if she was sleeping around. A week later, she responded that she wasn't. And he says, sure. If she's good looking, I don't care if she's 48. She'll find some guy that will nail her. So I'm drinking alone on a Friday night, and she's somewhere, probably on the beach, enjoying life. Triple F her. He also added, saying that uh, my lawyer has given me a bunch of advice and options. It was just way more than I could possibly include in this post. I could definitely push the issue harder, and I might need to at at some point. But all that work is very expensive. Finding her, servicing her, getting a judge to sign off, that is not cheap. I'm following up, following up soon. I plan on talking about taking talking about the savings and my finances. Until I paid all the bills and realized how little was left, it didn't hit me that I had to worry about the money. Yeah, and also he had her income also contributing to taking care of the bills. Now he doesn't, and she's depleting all the savings. Now, it sounds like they had their savings, which probably was like emergency money, and then they had their retirement accounts and all that, and he was eventually going to use the retirement accounts and Social Security to live in retirement, but now he has to put things off because I guess the money, he he doesn't have that guarantee anymore with her retirement money contributing to things. But this is the thanks he gets. What an a-hole. This guy absolutely has the right to kick her to the curb 100%. And I'll be looking out for updates here to see how these things turn out. But again, guys, stuff never ceases to amaze me.